Ladies and gentle bitches, that's right, sitting here with my bro Kev today, about to dive into the live stream from way back in December, where we listened to, uh, The Wildlife, my favorite band, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, put some yep. respect on yep. We just went and saw them this last weekend at Masquerade. The Masquerade in Purgatory, there's gonna be some little bit of footage flying around screen to show you what it was a little bit like, and I just gotta say, man, absolutely Phenomenal show, dude. Like, oh my god, sound was great. Jansen, phenomenal front man. We got Carson mm -hmm. just killing it on the vocals. We got Jack doing the bass thing. And honestly, we just had an absolutely phenomenal time. And uh, couldn't have done it if this man right here did not show me the wildlife oh you're so welcome. long ago. You're welcome. Just sitting there I taking you. it. You're just like, yep, this video exists because of me. So, shout, so I, you know, I had to shout out Kevin. I might as well have him in the video. So. Anyways, enjoy the damn experience because oh my god, it sure is one. And I'll uh, see you at the end. Peace. Peace. Shout out you now. You were the first version of Twitch. You now it crawled so Twitch could run. I will stand by my you now crew until I die. But it has. Falling off incredibly I don't know who uses you now anymore I would never set foot on that website If you don't know what I'm talking about You might be too young for the stream I don't know <laughs> I love my Zen, my Gen Zers Love them so much uh, speaking of Gen Z, I don't know if I would really consider the wildlife a Gen Z band, but I have been noticing that like the, their come up has been more along with like the youth of TikTok and such. And uh, I just have fallen in love with their sound and everything they've kind of done recently. I've really only heard one single off of this album, the, the box. It's just called box actually, just box. And there's only eight tracks, so uh, this is <laughs> this might be pretty quick, but I haven't really touched this a whole lot, even though I really fucked with what I've heard from their latest releases. So let's get into it, dude. Forgive and forget. What the fuck? Hold on, I kind of have a song titled like that. And it's so, the way that I titled this, it, it makes me cringe, dude. Four parentheses, parentheses in the front, first of all. What the fuck? Four give space slash space thanks the 1975 get me what i was going for was forgive and forget me that's the lyric in the actual song i'm not gonna play this because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna torture you i'm not uh i'm not into that a few moments later fuck my old music let's listen to some actually good music forgive and forget me I just want to forgive and forget myself for my old song. It's becoming a ritual. I'm caught inside of a ritual. Ooh, the mandolin. All of my teeth into something I can't get out. I always thought that we'd stay the same. But now we're just in a picture frame. Ooh. With everything Bar? that I thought I'd say. Still living inside my mind. The minor on letting go. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's so soft. I love the Mandos. It's becoming a Ooh, a little heaviness. Let it out, brother. You know I'm gonna fall apart when I'm driving back home. Cause all we have to be is now buried in snow. Ooh, the imagery. Fucking hard live, bro. Cause you know I'm gonna fall apart when I'm driving back home. Cause all 
Vocoder. I wish that I was better at letting things go And even though the ways are beyond my chest oh. I know that there's somebody that it's the whole I haven't outro. met So keep breaking my heart, I know it's for the best I wish that I could hate you and know that I can't forgive and forget now Oh, oh, when I when I tell y'all that this is going to be special, oh my god, this is going to be special. You know what this sound kind of reminds me of? It's this little band you might have heard of, the 1975, dude. Back when they weren't even the 1975, they went by another band name. I believe it had something to do with cars and driving. Oh, I think it was Drive Like I Do. They have a huge amount of potential. I just love all of the production around their vocals. Oh, and you know what? They actually have two singers. And uh, I think that's so fucking tight because it's like a three piece group and it just keeps everything so. <sniffs> On to the next one Perform Your Life. We're so impressed. I'm impressed. With so Ooh, honestly though. Ooh. Oh, I love that palm mute. Oh, it's so chunky. Oh, it's thick. We are not the same. Kind of a tool, a cool two line chorus. Ooh, the suck out. Oh, I love when he gets in that flow, dude. God, the filter coming out and you just get these high hats oh, with that flow repeating in the back too god it's just such, such a cool production style oh my god i, just, I love it man like they just ch they channel this like pop punk energy that i feel like has just been so dormant and i know that we've been hearing we've been hearing a lot of pop punk or kind of mainstream people trying to kind of achieve this pop punk sound but a lot of times it just comes off cheap it just does. Like when you get stuff that's like overproduced, it can feel that way. And I feel like these guys have this sound that just feels so nostalgic with these guitar tones, but also they bring like this such a cool like flair with percussive elements. And then obviously all the like modern day melodies and the kind of like just the tone of voice that they both kind of have is just so it's addicting. It's addicting, dude. It's really good pop rock, man. Really, really good. Next tune, Anxious. Ooh, maybe some relatable content for some of you guys. Maybe me as well. Am I gonna be jamming out through my anxiety though? I hope so, most likely. Driving on the freeway, mm. I've been on Filtered voice. Five. Five. Okay, where do you I work? Swear it's been so long, I don't know what your face looks like. Oh man, maybe like a and long I don't distance. Flow carries. Oh, I, I didn't, dude. I know it, and I haven't even heard it, bro. Uh. Oh. Little change up right there, but dude. Oh, that's how you write a fucking chorus, bro. That is that melody is just 
oh my God, that melody is so supreme, bro. You literally, you can literally feel it coming up inside you before you've even heard it. How am I supposed to know when you don't pick up your phone? It's making me insane. Sorry. Another way of saying I had that cold shoulder. Oh! Oh! Oh, the squeal. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up! Get out of here! The door! You make me And they don't say it right at the end. Damn! A heater? Damn, I keep on hitting you, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, baby. Never subbed, never donated, ad block on, stolen laptop, neighbors, Wi-Fi, mama's house. A, ba a banger? Okay, cool, yeah. Glad we're on the same page. Wow, um, love that, love that. Moving on, into the next one. Nothing but time is what I have for anything the wildlife brings to me because I am sat. It's also the name of this song. <laughs> What's another 12 hours? Ooh. Watching Breaking Bad on my couch. Okay, he's a Breaking Bad. I think that we're Stan. okay. Cause at least I'm not a Jesse and you're not a Jane. I kind of feel right side of right now. Oh, 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 oh the guitar on the right. Side down. I kind of feel right. Oh, the toms on upside down. Oh. God. Oh, get out of here! What? What? Oh my God! Shut up. Verse two, hit me. Take another shower. That's the thousandth time. What the? F what happened to the track? They were just. They were just like, we're bored. We're bored. Yeah. New vibe. Completely whole new vibe. Like it felt like we had a change of scenery. Oh, who was that? Right now, when everyone oh. else feet, I kind of feel right. Cause I don't think I really mind. Having nothing Ooh. but more time to do absolutely Come on. nothing with you. Oh, I love this the, all the way up. What a. What an incredible melody. Oh my god, the horns. I mean, this is just unreal, dude. This is unreal. Unreal. Oh my god, yo, the production go crazy on that back end. What was- Oh my god, I think I blacked out for a second, honestly. Just because, like, the vibes- They're so strong, dude. They're so strong with these boys. And, like, it's just so wholesome. All of it just feels so warm and cozy and cuddly and nice. Incredible. Going into the next one. Box. Oh. Oh. Be prepared, okay? Because nothing's fitting in this box because I'm busting out. Me and my friends What do you do? Drive till the money is spent Oh, is it a chore? Confidence is a chore Am I lazy or bored? Just one out of ten Okay, Fantano <laughs> You say it's a choice Not by design That I'm living in a box That I can get out of And be behind
the use of the acoustics to break it down. Oh. Oh. Chords. Chords. Insane chord breakdown. Oh. In the ticks. It's so sexy. Box owns my box, dude. It's so good. You're welcome for introducing you to your new favorite band. This is what it's like being a trendsetter, you know? I can't take all the credit, but sounding a little bit. <laughs> the next song is called Nightmare. Okay, maybe like a Nightmare Frame. Maybe like a Code Geass reference. It's never a Code Geass reference. I don't want to start. The subtle drums. Singing through the floor again. Oh. I can't even comprehend. Good rhyme. Taking all my mind. Dreams last a lifetime. Oh, we're getting a little saucy. Oh. I'm your living nightmare. I'm sorry. Oh, do you? Thank you, it's Chanel. What is this? What is this type of guitar called? Ooh. Oh. Oh, fuck the guitar. Oh, that saxophone. Ooh, and the vocoder little. Paper. The vibes are transitioning and changing. They have a variety. And that vocoder kind of coming back too now, filling it out. Oh, another? Oh, Spanish guitar song. Seducing me, he's telling me to take my clothes off. I can't, I can't. So spicy, but yet so smooth. A song about nightmares being held up by a, a beautiful flamenco guitar pattern. Is that a flamenco guitar pattern? I feel like it's Spanish in its uh, inspiration, but 10 out, 10 out of 10 so far. Literally, they are six for six on this record. Six for six. And we only got two tracks left, which is a goddamn shame, but let's get into it. The next one is the actual title track of the album, Repaint My Mind. What color are we talking? I'm thinking mauve, perhaps chartreuse, hmm, lemon. Well, if it's if it's anything like the cover art, which by the way is like kind of this like abstract painting of sorts, you know, we're looking at something that's like kind of, you know, art, art deco, perhaps? What are the influences here? Picasso? Hmm. Monet. Oh. Oh. All the different textures. Little electronics, some beep, beeps and boops. Rumbling low end. Is this like, oh, oh, is this just like an instrumental? Oh, dude. Oh, I'm floating. I'm ascending. Excuse my over analytical oh! self. Oh, the transition. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, you got my pussy by the goddamn lips with those palm mutes, bro. What the fuck? Else. This is blood orange. And I know so, this is the color. Okay, okay. Ooh. 
Not a full release, but we get, oh my god, that's nice. In the chorus, put on a brave face for ya. Pretend that it's all right. Repaint my mind blood orange so I can sleep through the night. Oh my gosh, they say in an interview, it really just feels like the statement off the album kind of represented the overarching theme of the EP for us. The line is just a reminder that every day is a choice that even though we can get caught up in feeling like everything is happening to us, we can choose to be positive and believe the best about ourselves, others, and our environment. Positivity, these boys are beating the shit out of depression. They are jumping depression. They're kicking the living hell out of it. That's it. That's it. That's the whole, that's the whole project. Eight songs, 25 minutes and 17 seconds of just hits. So catchy. Seriously, one of my favorite bands, bro. Like for real, they have just captured such a, such an emotion in me. And speaking of emotion, I looked up what orange, like what blood orange is supposed to like symbolize. And it says right here that orange is the color of enthusiasm and emotion. Orange exudes warmth and joy and is considered a fun color that provides emotional strength. Emotional strength. It is optimistic and uplifting. It encourages social communication, which is a topic that they touch on through the social media, through that, and creativity that I feel like they also implement in the actual production of their songs. It's just one of those albums that are just like a 10 out of 10, no skippers, dude. I was so happy that I was able to uh, react to this and uh, kind of just listen with you guys and share this with you. So now you guys can go and get so excited about uh, the wildlife, just like I do. So share this with them. If you feel like it, they're probably gonna see it because they're kind of just already homies and fans of the channel. So uh, shouts out to the lads. Thanks for, for <laughs> delivering an unbelievable project. And um, as for everybody else, it's gonna be a wrap for me. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, like and subscribe. Click that bell notification to be notified whenever I post new videos. Check out the Patreon if you wanna see these uncut, unedited, and uh, get access to our private Discord. I'll see you around. I'm gonna go uh, repaint my room blood orange. <laughs> and as always, stay happy, healthy, and strong. And I'll see you in the next one.